What's up, YouTube? This is Bobby Lee, and what I'm going to do is a video review on the ROM I'm running. It's uh, by Mad Doggin for the Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Um, right now, he just released it where you could uh, change the navigation bar color and the heights and everything. So uh, it's a rather new one. It's in testing still, but... I wanted to get a uh, review out on it as soon as possible to get this out there to everyone else who has a Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Um, this is by far the best ROM that I have had on my uh, Nexus device. It is Jelly Bean. Uh, everything is fully functional. It works perfect. You know, it's amazing how smooth it is and just how great it is overall but uh, if you see we'll go into the settings let's see so you can scrollable no toggles up there but uh... let's go into the settings and i'll go down to bill about phone and see if i can't get it to focus in on uh, the build number or the mod version self cane at mad doggin Toro Plus user you see Mad Doggin down here and up there is for the mod version. But uh it has some cherry picks in it and you know whatnot, you know, some of his personal own mods as well, I believe. Uh but you see we have system navigation bar. You can change the color of it. Here, let's see, I'll go ahead and change the color of it now. Let me find a some good colors right there. There you go. We'll change it pink for now. But see, now it's pink. But, uh, yeah, it's great ROM, man. Real fast, real smooth. Uh, it comes with lean kernel, I believe. Yep, lean kernel, ex the experimental 231, uh, underclock to 230, overclock to 1650, I believe. Uh, very smooth, very, you know, nice ROM. You could do the uh, lock screen customizations. You could add the weather there. You know, you could calendar, slide shortcuts. And I like this one because what you do is, is if you want to, you know, make a shortcut over there, you just slide to that and you add the shortcut and then you hit save. If you want to revert back to what it used to be, you just hit that right there and it'll revert it back to what it used to be uh... you know stock or whatever so uh... you know it's really good ROM actually very good ROM I uh, dig it by far my favorite ROM that is out and that's the color I'm going for with that for now but uh... you see it's very smooth very fluent, no lag whatsoever, everything is just so nice. Now it does come pre-installed with Nova Launcher and the Stock Launcher. I prefer the Stock over Nova. That's just my opinion. Nova has a bunch more customizations that the uh, Stock one don't have. I mean, you see how smooth that is. It's just beautiful. But uh, so what we'll do is is let me go ahead and go to performance. Uh, let me change some stuff real quick, and I'm gonna run a quadrant because uh, I'm not gonna overclock it as high as it goes because for some reason I noticed my phone doesn't do too well when it's overclocked as uh, high as it could go. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a quadrant. And I'm sorry about the video quality that it's horrible. Uh, try to get it to focus in as much as I can. I have horrible lighting where I am. But uh, it should blaze right through quadrants so uh, we'll go ahead and let it run through. But There's a lot more customizations in this bad boy now than the one that he just released a couple days ago. Uh, like I said this one's still in testing it's uh, not in the o, you know, OP yet of the thread, but uh, I'm sure after a day he'll update it and put it in there for uh, all to download. 
but uh, it runs very great. It's very great run. This guy's amazing. Mad Dogging is amazing. He does very good uh, work. 59 for that one. That was pretty good. Trying to get it to focus on the numbers. Pretty good on that one. Try to focus in on it. And here we go. Alright, yeah, see that wasn't a good one. I must have had a lot of stuff running. But I got 2,394. So, uh, you know, it's pretty good. That was a crappy benchmark to show, uh, so don't take that one for, uh, as that's what you'll get. But I just have a lot of stuff running and I got a message in them. Well, I think I got a message. It must have been my Nexus 7 that got the message. But, um, very smooth, very nice. I'll do a video on how to install it, uh, a little later. GPS works in it. Everything, everything works perfect. Everything works perfect. Let's go ahead and do one more, uh, quadrant. We'll go ahead and bring it up all the way. Let me go stop some apps real quick. But so we'll stop some of these apps. Maps is taking up a lot. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and run it again and this time we're overclocked to a uh, 1650 I believe it is so we should get a little better usually I get about 35 on his ROMs so uh, on every ROM that I've downloaded from him he's very very good to dev very good dev um, I'm amazed I'm amazed I've downloaded a lot of ROMs for my Nexus a lot of them then the only other one that is just as good is the one by dreams forgotten and shabby penguin in my opinion them are the two best you know shabby penguin dreams and mad dog are the three best devs in in my opinion um the reason why not only because do they develop good ROMs but they also have a very good support for them ROMs so if you have a question or you know you mess up and your phone's in a constant reboot or you know, whatever, them guys will, you know, fight tooth and nail to to help you get your device back going and running perfect and smooth, you know, like as if it's theirs. So, you know, that's amazing that they do that. That was really low on that one. Like I said, sometimes, I mean, my phone's really hot right now. I live in Tampa, Florida, so I just got off work after being outside all day. I should have let it cool down a little bit. But, you know, it's just it's just a run-through review of it. You know, it's still in testing, like I said. So, uh, might see that time I got 3,014 right there. Which is pretty good. You know, that's not the HTC One X, but we're messing with the dual core, not a quad core. So, everybody knows that. So, you know, you see that. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, it does have it, so you could change the, uh color gaming and all that in there in advance you see it gives you the option to change it all or you know game tuning you know whatever uh... it's, it's an amazing ROM an amazing amazing ROM and now that it has the navigation bar you know the nav bar sorry guys the reason why now that it has the navigation bar it's even that much better this guy is amazing he did a very good job um, Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe, ask questions, you know, give a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like my video and you want me to do more. You know, let me know and uh, I'll be happy to do, you know, what you want or what you want to see or anything on it. But, uh, 
yeah, that's it. Mm. Look for my uh, how to install video. Thanks, guys. This is the Mad Doggin' Jelly Bean Rom. Peace out.